We've all seen the images. People suffer and die because of hypovolemia, a loss of blood pressure. Many times, this ailment is the result of acute blood loss from trauma, surgery, shock, sepsis, or burns. You have to have enough volume in order to move things along from one place to the other. Uh, without that, then you can't sustain life. You don't deliver enough nutrients, you don't remove waste products, you don't deliver enough oxygen, um, and uh, cells simply can't function without that, organs can't function without that. So with hypovolemia, it's just insufficient volume. Now, imagine a world where some one million lives could be saved annually. These are people from the global community who suffer from hypovolemia, but who until now had to rely on a century-old treatment to stay alive with potentially dangerous side effects. Now there is a potential for hope in the form of VivaCell, a new paradigm in fluid resuscitation. VivaCell is a colloid non-blood volume expander that appears to be two to three times more effective than the standard treatment for hypovolemia and safer. VivaCell is the brainchild of renowned surgeon and scientist, Dr. Cuthbert Tuffy Simpkins. Yeah, I've been working on this problem since the late 90s, this problem specifically. It was really kind of serendipitous. I was in the laboratory and uh, I didn't have any uh, funding and um, I just had some cells and I had some ringer's lactate and um, I kind of left the cells in the desk and on the lab bench and I uh, looked at them 24 hours, 48 hours later I said some of these cells are still here. I said there's something keeping these cells uh, intact. They haven't been lice. I said something is going, I've got to understand this. What keeps cells alive? So that led to a long series of experiments um, that resulted in, in, in Viva cell. In the past, we've used either salt water to correct the circulating volume, or we've used a blood product. Now, blood products have a problem. They're expensive, they come from other people, and they have inherent risks. Salt water, on the other hand, is not a very effective resuscitation agent. VivaCell offers a new approach where a little micelle, a little cluster, forms a cell-like structure that can hold on to inflammatory mediators, to gases, while it's correcting the circulating volume. And this is a paradigm-shifting approach in volume resuscitation. And the benefit of VivaCell as a product uh, when it's introduced and used widely, uh, you'll be able to not only save individual lives, but make a, uh, really make an impact on communities at large. You know, the attractiveness for, from an investor standpoint, the therapeutic options that are available today are not optimal. They really have a lot to be desired, and so there's a huge unmet need for a product that can safely raise blood pressure in those that have hypovolemia, maintain that blood pressure for more than just a few minutes such that you know, that patient can survive. VivaCell does away with costly and potentially dangerous side effects from drugs like albumin and HETA starch at a significant cost savings. Hypovolemia has been treated with um, Ringer's lactate which is um, recommended by the American College of Surgeons. Ringer's lactate is based upon 19th century science. Uh, formulations uh, called colloids have been developed, albumin, uh, head of starch. The head of starches have been shown to be toxic. The total potential market for VivaCell is over $20 billion globally. Currently, the expense of blood treatments from procurement to administration cost at least $2,000 per liter. VivaCell's estimated cost of production is less than $10 per liter. In addition, VivaCell has the promise to be a platform to modulate intracellular inflammation, cell death, binding of gases such as oxygen, nitric oxide, and other mediators. And as such, we refer to it as a product with emergent properties. The properties that will emerge are greater than you can predict. And I'm very excited about the future of VivaCell and what it can offer to patients. There's a pipeline of products that will follow VivaCell. I'll call this VivaCell 1. Dr. Simpkins stays up at night and it really is exciting for him and motivating and pushes him forward for years because of the science 
and the application of new ideas to be able to improve care. But to be able to make this available to many people, millions of people in the United States and hopefully around the world, it has to become a commercial product. And for that to happen, you have to build a company. After years of initial research, Dr. Simpkins formed VivaCell Bio, a distinguished team of physicians, scientists, and financial and marketing experts, all united with the goal of steering VivaCell through rigorous clinical studies and trials to successfully bring it to market. The City of Chicago and State of Illinois were so impressed with VivaCell Bio's potential that they helped the company secure facilities in one of the nation's top medical campuses, providing a dedicated space for year-round clinical studies. So we do everything from site selection work to helping people uh, meet with our friends at the state and the city to discuss incentives or permits or licensing. Um, as well as work with universities and special medical districts and things like that. Um, so uh, we're at your disposal. So VivaCell is still in the process of testing the product and the formulations in animals where we can optimize the formulation and ensure the best effect and safety for the animals involved. After that, we will be able to clear FDA regulations to begin clinical trials where the product will be administered generally in emergency circumstances to patients who have experienced shock, either from infection or from blood loss. Currently, the VivaCell Bio team is hard at work conducting the research and raising the funds to secure medical approval for VivaCell, a new paradigm in fluid resuscitation that will save lives and save valuable healthcare dollars the world over.